Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting an unexpected error has occurred within a troubleshooting wizard on your Windows computer. So we're going to go through a few different methods on how to hopefully resolve this problem without too much of a hassle for you. So without further ado, let's get right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start button. And you just want to left click on it one time to open up the start menu. And what you want to do now is type in services. And the best metric comes up should say services right above desktop app. So you want to left click on that one time to open it up. Okay, so now in the services window, I'm going to go down until I get to something that says Diagnostic System Host Properties. Or Diagnostic System Host. You want to make sure you go to System Host and not Service Host. So right here should be the second one. So I'm going to double click on that. And then I'm going to make sure I set the startup type to Manual. And then I'm going to click on OK. And then you can close out of this window. If it's set to anything else, I'd recommend setting it to manual. So sometimes if you have any corrupt system files, I'd also would recommend you head back to the start menu and type in CMD. And the best metric comes up to the command prompt right above desktop app. You want to right click on it. And then left click once you've right clicked on it. You want to run as administrator. And if you see a user account control window, you want to select yes. So at this point, you'd want to type in SFC. So SFC space forward slash scan now. Scan now should be one word. So again, SFC space forward slash scan now. Then you want to hit enter. And this will begin running a system scan. So you'd want to let this run. This might take some time between an hour and two hours typically. And then if your computer has to restart, I would recommend you let it restart. And at the end, you should restart it anyway. And see if the wizard can continue as well. This tool should automatically look to see if there's anything that can be resolved here. So we're going to close out of here. And let's say that method did not work and did not resolve the problem for you guys. There's one last thing we can try doing here and that would be to go open up the start button to open up the start menu and then you would type in regedit best manager comes up should say regedit right above run command you want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator if you receive a user account control window you want to select yes So now on the registry editor, we're going to expand the view next to each key local machine by either double clicking on this folder or left clicking the little arrow next to it. And now you want to do the same thing for the software folder. I'm going to make this view a little bit wider here. And now I'm going to go down to policies right here. And then I'm going to expand the Microsoft folder. And then the Windows folder here as well. So I'm going to expand that. And then I'm going to go to where it says scripted diagnostics right here. So again, underneath the Windows folder. And I'm going to right click on it. And then I'm going to select delete. And select yes. And if you had anything also that said scripted diagnostics provider, you'd want to do the same thing. They'd probably be right next to each other. So again, scripted diagnostics provider, you want to delete that folder, as well as what we just showed, the scripted diagnostics folder. So you want to delete both of those. And then once you have done that, you can close out of the registry editor, restart your computer, and then try and run the troubleshooting utility again, and then hopefully your issue has been resolved. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. 
And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.